I am indeed delighted to be with uh, honorable journalist, uh, scientist, uh, scholars, students. Uh, myself, Tanmay Kotasthane. I am working in sweet sorghum breeding since uh, 2007. Uh, my topic of presentation is sorghum as a lignocellulosic biomass for biofuel production. So there are many crops like sugarcane, switchgrass, sorghum, miscanthus, and there are many which can be utilized as uh, biomass source for biofuel production. But sorghum has some of the advantages which uh, make it better than other crops. Or Can you point which of those is, are you talking about, which is sorghum? This is sugarcane, okay. fishgrass, miscanthus, uh, then uh, this is sorghum. Okay. So in this, uh, we, we can get grain also. So that's why region-wise, uh, so objectives change region-wise. So in India, India and China, population is more, and we need uh, food as well as fuel in the same area. So both are of equal importance. Sweet sorghum or sorghum is a C4 crop and it is called as a camel among crop uh, because it survives well in dry condition, arid condition. So what are the reason for the glory of bioethanol is Use as octane enhancer in enabled gasoline in place of methyl tertiobutyl ether. Use as oxygenated compound for cleaning combustion of gasoline and improving the air quality. Then alternative fuel for reducing CO2 emission, limiting the risk of climate change. Then use as renewable energy to partly substitute oil. So because in India and China or in other developing countries, we are importing uh, oil. So a lot of uh, money uh, are, means economically it is not uh, good for these nations, developing nations. So biofuel produced from renewable energy sources are gaining importance in the right light of rising bio, uh, fossil fuel prices depleting oil reserves, increasing greenhouse effect associated with the use of fossil fuel. So as fossil fuels are, uh, this oil reserves are depleting, so it is a need of time that uh, we should think of this. Uh, several developing countries and developed nations have ma made mixed policies to promote production and use of biofuels. Uh, different nations have their different policies according to their need. So, uh, actually in uh, Brazil, this Brazil, US, China and India are the top most producer of ethanol. And among this, US and Brazil are top most producer as well as consumer. They are consuming and producing both. So in India, we have policy to blend up to 20% of ethanol with petrol. So for that, we need ethanol up to 20. Now, now in major cities of India, we are blending up to 5% of ethanol. Our target is to increase this uh, up to 20%. First generation ethanol. First generation ethanol comes from sugar crops such as sweet sorghum, sugar cane, corn. So uh, we are we are using this three roller crusher. Uh, so by pa uh, single pass, we have bagasse, bagasse as well as inside 
we can get juice. So from that juice, we can convert it into ethanol by fermentation. And the remaining bagasse also can be utilized as a second generation biofuels. From cellulose to glucose, then glucose to ethanol by glycolysis. This is Brick's meter. We are uh, just uh, put a drop of uh, 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 juice on this and we take reading. So this is a Brick's, Brick's meter and uh, we can get directly the how much uh, sugar content is there. So this is Bagas. Oh. Second generation lignocellulose bioenergy bio conversion requires decomposition of cell wall, polysaccharide, cellulose, hemicellulose into monomeric sugars. So there are different biomass sources, uh, woody biomass and non-woody biomass. Oh. And these are the steps. First is pretreatment method, then hydrolysis. Uh, fermentation, distillation, and as a cogeneration, we can make electricity also through biomass. So, in pretreatment method, there are different method: acid, alkali, and lime method is there. But uh, lime method is somewhat cost if cost effective. Means uh, research are so showing that. And uh, these are the steps, breaking of cellulose into sugar, separation of sugar solution from lignin, then distillation to produce 95% pure ethanol, and dehydration. This is a di diagrammatic representation. So uh, we have bred uh, brown midrib lines in sorghum. You can see this brown color. It shows that it has a less lignin content. Means this, this uh, physical trait, phenotypic trait, shows that the plant has less lignin content. So we have bred this specially by crossing uh, uh, normal sorghum and BMR sorghum. We have imported uh, some lines from Kansas State University. Uh, less lignin ensures plants are softer and easier to apply pretreatment methods. So there are different uh, means wheat straw is there or rice bran is there, uh, but the technology is not still developed for these biomasses. But in sorghum. Uh, this pretreatment methods uh, are easy if we reduce the lignin content. But the problem is, if we reduce the lignin content in sorghum, the plant will lodge because lignin is supporting material. The standability of plant is due to lignin. So we we want to optimize the lignin content Can so that when you press this, like just press it when you want to show something. Don't keep it continuously. Okay. Just press when you show something, okay. <laughs> so this, this is one, one of the genotypes we have bred. So it has around 90 to 95 tons per hectare of biomass. And uh, dry biomass is up to 30 to 32 tons per hectare. And we have tested it in uh, different, up to uh, 17 locations throughout country. So this is one of the variety we have. Uh, there are many hybrids and uh, some of varieties are there. Uh, this, this black, uh, bold black color are having uh, good fresh biomass. These are the checks we are using. 
and uh, one uh, CSH 22 SS is uh, one of the checks we are using here, this last one. So these are all biofuel traits, uh, total fresh biomass, fresh stock yield. After, after removing the leaf, we get stock and we, we took reading for this. Then bricks content, juice extraction. So th these are all biofuel traits and final product is ethanol. So up to 1300 13 liters per hectare uh, we are getting now, but we are targeting it up uh, more. So in summary, uh, typical first generation biofuels are sugarcane, ethanol, starch based or corn, ethanol or and biodiesel. Uh, sorghum biomass, especially low lignin brown matrix sorghum is a good substrate for extraction of sugars and convert it, it into ethanol. The study shows sweet sorghum potential for bioethanol production. So. Thank you very much. Any questions? Actually, the, uh, this, uh, what I have presented is a part of uh, Indo-US collaborative project. So University of Florida is a lead consortium partner and uh, IICT is from India and many other institutes also. Yes, please. Yeah, thank you. Any other questions or comments? Yes, Gabriela. because we have to think about food also because uh, uh, if both are of equal importance energy as well as food so, so how do you address that? Uh, we have developed uh, one variety named uh, CSV27 it recently uh, in cultivation throughout India so it has uh, up to 4000 kg per hectare grain yield and uh, biomass is also good, means uh, 57 or something. So uh, if we are targeting more about biofuels, then the grain will be less, means. Uh, because in breeding, we, we can't uh, go for one, one purpose only. Yes, yes. Uh, from sugar, uh, this sorghum syrup, we can make jaggery also. The other byproducts are also there. And juice also, we can energy drink like we can. Okay. Thank you. Miss Moya, you want to say something? This is for me. Um, so are they... Present, do you want to present or what? You don't know. Uh -huh. Can, ah, okay, 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 okay. I see. Fine, fine, fine. Yes. Okay, fine. If there are no other questions, 
I would like also to give you the certificate.